I'm gonna open this in front of you. You're gonna get my reaction and it could be good or bad. I, I just can't say. <laughs> so, yes, I have two large flat boxes here. I will say that I am embarrassed for myself a little bit, but not really. I, I do this in front of you live so that you get my honest reaction and opinion. Um, I did go overboard. This is the first time I've ordered from Swanky. Yeah. This was like what I don't know. You guys, actually, was this from like August? I think this was this the beginning of August. When did I order? Oh, it says right here. Okay, this was August 6th. And it's September 28th today. But this is a large pre-order, and I think she does massive pre-orders. Like from my understanding of the group size and just seeing the sales, I think this she's a very successful vendor. Um, and to get it turned out before even two months is pretty impressive, but I don't know her team size. So if you guys know, like, does she have a team? Is she kind of like other big vendors I buy from? And just to be fair, when I started ordering from L3 and Melted Moose and all those vendors, I went overboard every time I hauled Sassy Girl Aroma. So I, this does not generally mean that I am going to always do this. Okay. Just let's be clear. Um, and then the other part of that is, again, this is all new to me, so I've never smelt this. I may like something and I might not. And if I don't, I just de-stash it. Because like I said, there's other people who are going to enjoy it. There's no point in me hoarding it if someone else missed this pre-sale and they would love a scent that I didn't like. So, all right, let's get in. Underneath is the bubble. I'll show it to you. This order, <laughs> it's been a kind of, um, it's been a warm couple days. Uh... And honestly, she shipped this out on whatever day, and I got it, like, really quick. And, um, okay. All right. So, this is loaves and then these roses. Uh, oh, shoot. Oh, she does. Ooh, she does have her scent notes on the receipt. Okay. So, the first one is Strawberry Overload. And I'm, since she has this on here, I'm gonna, um, go over it with you because, she doesn't, I don't think she has a scent notes. No, on, not on this. There's no four date, which is fine. I can just put the date I got it on here. Um, that's kind of what I do with my L3. I just put the day I get it, not even the date that I ordered it. I just put that in there. So this is strawberry overload. Oh, there it is, sorry. Okay, so this is a strawberry experience. All of Swanky strawberry scents layered upon layers of strawberry goodness. Swanky has so many strawberry scents. This is will be incredible. Well, that is definitely a definition. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, this is good. Oh, this is like strawberry pound cake on the next level. Is that, I, if you guys have tried this, is that kind of what you get? Oh. So she does have chunks when I cut up the one that I had. So wax is a little bit soft, which I like. Um, not much glitter, anything, so pretty basic, which I love. This is good. Oh my gosh. That is worth it. I can see why this is hyped up. That is a great strawberry. Now, if you guys have ordered from her, her company, them, um, let me know if you warm this. How did it perform for you? Like, let's help each other. That's kind of the point of this, okay? So that was yummy. My husband is home, if you can hear the garage door opening. He's coming home early, so I told him, I'm making a video for my Facebook group. Yes, sometimes I lie too. Because um, I've told you guys before, this is something I do for me. I don't share it with everybody. Um, so I told them that because I do have a Sensi group and I do post videos on there. Um, so it's a little white line. Okay. So I said, don't come home and be loud, please. <laughs> so he's going to pick apples. Okay, the next one is Vanilla Romance. This is Bare Vanilla. Warm Vanilla Sugar BBW Vanilla Lace VS. What is VS? Is that Victoria's Secret? Satin Sheets. Sweet Romantic Sandalwood Let Them Eat Cake. Okay. You guys, I, it's been a long day at work. I, I may have cried twice today at work. Okay. I'm going to be honest. This is not a love on cold. I... Again, these are all new to me, so I'm not going to know if I love something or not. I just kind of like vanillas, but I'm thinking it's, is it, um, I don't 
don't know. Maybe it's the vanilla lace parts. I don't know. And I, I'm not going to take it out because I don't want to. Well, maybe I will if I can. It's kind of smushed. Like I said, it's been a little warm here um, the last couple days. It was like 50s and 60s last week. And, of course, the week this shipped, it's been like 75, which I love. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. I love chunky loaves. But um, it's, it's generally not my wheelhouse. So, um... It's okay. It's not bad. It's I think it's just a little bit of that vanilla lace that I'm not loving because I have that in a different scent and after warming it, I wasn't like a love. So again, just my honest opinion, it's not a love of mine, so I may not keep it, okay? Like I said, all these are new to me, so if I don't love something, I just feel like I should pass that on and let someone else enjoy it because one of you all might love that scent. And yes, I generally post them on Light My Stash on Facebook, and I have stuff on there right now from a different vendor. And so, just because, like I said, I, there's a lot of people that enjoy th some things that I don't, and vice versa. Like, I wish somebody would de-stash Circus Concession or some more Crackling Birch Fluff Puffs from Rose Girls, because I love those scents. Okay, this one is Fresh Fall Breeze. So let me find that one. My head is just, I need a Gatorade because my head is just killing me from today. Okay, so where are we at here? What? How come I can't find this one? Fresh Fall Breeze. Fresh. Is that on the other page? Fresh. Okay, there it is. Sorry. This is Sweater. Blah. Sweater Weather. Fresh sliced pears, mac apple, falling leaves. Sometimes when I order, I'm just like, what was I thinking? <laughs> Again, to be fair, I make poor choices sometimes. <laughs> oh, never mind. This is fabulous. Oh my gosh. This is so good. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. This is like yummy. Okay, and see, this is why I do my recordings because reading that, I was like, I'm not gonna love this. And then you stick your nose in here and then you're like, oh, and look at the colors in there. You guys, this is amazing. You get the sweater weather and then you get this pear. Oh my gosh, this is good. Oh, and then like you get the fallen leaves and just a slight bit of like, when I was picking apples last night and I stepped on some leaves and a squishy apple when I was picking apples for my coworkers. And you get this amazing apple, like after you stepped on the, the leaves, it's, oh my, this is beautiful. It's, see, this is what I'm talking about. Like stuff like this, this is fall in wax. Oh my, this is so good. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. This is so like strong, just on cold, and I can see why people like. I'm so glad I ordered a loaf. Okay, this is the fresh fall breeze. If you like those kind of scent notes, this should be on your list. I have to say, on cold, that is like one of the best fall scents I've smelled. Have you tried this? I see. This is why I do this, and I don't cheat. Um, cause sometimes I do cheat, but I really, really like nine times out of 10, I don't open and smell anything because this is why. So you guys can just truly get how I'm feeling about something. This is phenomenal. And like, no, I would literally love loaves of this. Okay. That's like an obsessed scent right there. This is great, but I'm obsessed. Okay. Oh, that was good. Oh, now I'm getting even more excited because this is new to me vendor and I spent quite a bit of money. But to be fair, I did have, when I de-stash, I have PayPal balance sitting there and I did use my PayPal balance. So it kind of evens up. <laughs> That's how I justify my spending budget. <laughs> okay, there's my little secret. Okay, this is Halloween, is it gala, gala, Halloween gala, I think it is. Okay, it's charred pumpkin leaves. Okay, I'm super excited. Charred pumpkin, fallen leaves, marshmallow fireside and toasted pralines, pralines. Okay, if you know me, those are just my jam scents. So I am so excited. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. 
you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Sensi's Central Park pra Pralines Pralines. Oh, it really truly does. And I had that in my club and I have like six bars so I took it out of my club. That is totally giving me these vibes. So if you guys have smelt this and you have the Central Park Pralines or Pralines, what do you think? Because, oopsie, I definitely get like an overwhelming pralines, pralines, whatever you want to call them. I mean, I'm with, from Wisconsin. We say pralines, okay? Uh, you, I know like Etta's from New Orleans and I think she says, I, I believed, if I'm wrong, then you can correct me. I believe she says pralines, but maybe she doesn't hear it that same way, but she does say it different than I say it. Um, I definitely get that. I get the smokiness of the marshmallow fireside and you get like this crunchy like when you when you do pumpkin seeds and you put them in the oven with some seasoning and then you take a bite into them that's what that i get is like that crunchy toasty peanut or did i say peanut butter pumpkin seed oh, that's yummy oh my gosh yes yes girl yes i love that and look at like the, i don't get the dots but that's okay is that supposed to be something i don't know it's kind of interesting i mean if you've got that, is it phobia with dots? Don't keep looking at this because there's some people who have phobia of dots. So I'm going to put that in the, like, that was good pile, but this is fabulous. Like, the best ever. Okay. Next, this is lemon ice box cookies, fruity pebbles, fruit loops, sugar milk, sweet on Paris. So obviously those are the scent notes. It's got a little angel. she got a little squished. Ooh, if you like tea and cakes, Oh my gosh, is, is this tea and cakes? No, it's the fruity pebbles that I smell. Oh my gosh, is this good? And the lemon, oh, oh my gosh. And then on this part, oh, I could eat this. Oh my gosh, is that good? Oh, it's the sweet on Paris. You guys, oh, this is so strong. Okay, <laughs> like, you get, it's literally tastes like you have cereal in your bowl and the fruity pebbles. And it's like when you start pouring your cereal and you get a poof of that like dust in your face. Oh my gosh, is that good? Oh, I don't know what Sweet on Paris really is. Is it just like a bakery? I get, I do get a note that I don't know. So I'm guessing it's maybe that. This is so good. The lemons in there, you get like this lemon crunchy cookie kind of. Oh That's good. Good, good, good. Here's the thing. Like I, these are, this is what I'm talking about when it comes to scent combinations. Like, yes, I can see why people order from Swanky. Yep, 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 yep. That's gonna go over here on this side because I'm love, that's like one of the best Fruity Pebbles, Fruit Loops, Sweet on Paris blend ever I've smelt. Oh my gosh, that's my favorite. And I haven't even warmed it. Okay, just to be fair, when I do my melting baskets, that's when I'm gonna come back and give you my reviews when I melt them. So just remember, I, I, I'm i still very critical until I warm it and then it performs or not performs. This is gonna be a long video, I'm so sorry. Get some caffeine or water or wine if you can drink, I wish I could. Okay, the next one is satin sheets. Now, t like, I don't think there's a scent de description for this. No, it just says satin sheets. So here's my thought on this. Is this like Scentsy satin sheets or is it like sheets? Like if you lay it in your bed, because those are two very different things to me. I love satin sheets. I like clean smelling sheets, but I don't like laundry. So let's see where we're at with this one. Mm, ooh, I like this. What are the scent notes in this? Cause wow. Oh, okay, hang on. It's gonna, I'm gonna dump it. Oh, I don't know what the scent notes are in this. This is perplexing. Oh, it smells so good. I, mm, does it have like sandalwood and something in it? Oh my gosh, this is good. Oh, yeah. Wow, I will put the scent notes up if I can find them. If you like, again, this is not like laundry laundry, but it reminds me a little bit of satin sheets. So I wonder if it's like, is it sandalwood or something? This is yummy. Definitely a bedroom, like a sexy bedroom smell. But not like your husband's sexy, but just like sexy, clean, 
just took a shower, getting in your nice clean sheets for bed. Whatever you do is up to you. Okay, this is Queen of Cupcakes Strawberry Pound Cake. Okay, let me find this because I don't know if there, I would hope there's, what is it, Queen of Cupcakes? No, okay, so I don't know what that means. Queen of Cupcakes and Strawberry Pound Cake. So what does that mean? Like, I don't know. Mmm, ooh, ooh. Hmm. Oh my gosh, is this good too. What is this like cake? It kind of smells like a strawberry white or a, a white cake with some frosting on it and then strawberry pound cake smushed in together. Oh my, there's like definitely a cake note. Like a very strong, yeah, it just reminds me of baking a white cake. But then you get that strawberryness. Look at, is this a macaroon, macaron, whatever, however you want to say. I love them. And they have gluten-free ones that are really good. Oh, you guys. Oh, so it's queen of cupcakes. So it's cake. It's cupcakes with strawberry pound cake. I think I like this one better than the strawberry overload. I think I do. better than that other I'm just saying it's just my opinion okay okay so I do have samples in here which we'll do them all at the end and then I'm gonna do the um I'm, I'm gonna do the the smaller ones this is uh cocktails by the pool I don't know if there's scent notes for all of these so I think so but we'll see rose bubble warm okay so it's maybe here here we go so this one is sparkling lemon Honeydew, pear, vibrant orange, pineapple, nectarine, and lots of fun by the pool. Super fruity and bright. Okay, this smells like, yeah, oh my gosh, this is good. So some of the scent, scents I weren't, I wasn't sure sure on, so I was like, I'll order these little, I think these were like three bucks. Um, This kind of reminds me of another vendor wax I have that's kind of like a fruity scent, and then you get like that pool smell. This is really good. Mmm. I'm happy with the smaller amount in this one. It's good, but it's not anything to me. Okay, that's like beyond crazy, but it's good. Okay, all right. The next one I got was Warm and Cozy Palo Santo Fireside Marshmallow Cream Cake. Now, I know you're wondering why I would just get a small amount of Palo Santo because I love it, but I think I got some other loaves with Palo Santo. And it's kind of squishy. I made a little mess in here. Okay, this smells like another Palo Santo blend I have, which I love. Um, this is very good. Oh my gosh. No, my little puppies outside. I love my puppies. And my little old doggies watching them. Um, this is very good. Very much I can get the Palo Santo, the marshmallow fireside, and a creaminess of cake. This is very good. I have a lot of Palo Santos. So unless this blows me away over my other one, um, I, I love Britta's The Exorcist, so I'm she's going to do a sale, and I'm going to order The Exorcist from her, and she's got loaves, so I'm going to, if like you ask me which one, because I know Britta's has got a little bit of patchouli, which I'm not a fan of, like I usually am not a fan of, but it is amazing, and it performs like 120%. This is great, so if you decide which one you love, um, if you have both, or if you're wondering which one to order from, I guess it would depend if this one's up before Britta's, but Britta's is coming up soon. So... That was very, very good. It, but like I said, hers, it's very much similar to that. Um, this is Always Kiss Me Goodnight. It's lavender baby clone, like baby bath or wash, ice sugar cookies, birthday cake, cream cake. I love these roses and just the colors are very, her, her, um, it seems like her colors are very much like vintage. Is that fair to say? Um, this is another great bedtime baby blend. It, this is a little hard for me because my son, when I smell these baby ones, it as long as it's not too much like what I was using, then I'm okay with it. So this is still okay. That's why I generally try to steer away from some of the baby blends because I don't want to get triggered. Okay. This one is Falling in Love Cozy Mittens. So this one is, let's see where we're at here. Oh, where are we at? Okay, here we go. Strawberry pound cake, sugar cookie, birthday cake, pumpkin, pecan, waffles, waffles, cream cake, vanilla bean, Noel. Oh, this is yummy. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. When I post videos, this is what I'm talking about. These unique blends 
and creativity and like really pulling the fall genre out. Oh my gosh, this would be loaf worthy. This is Falling in Love Cozy Mittens. This is phenomenal. You get the strawberry pound cake and then you get this yummy, again, that cake scent. And the pumpkin pecan waffles is actually not as overpowering as you'd think in this, which I love because sometimes you can only smell pumpkin pecan waffles. And then I definitely get the vanilla bean noel. Oh, that is good. I really am enjoying the uniqueness of these blends. Again, and this is where I will choose to spend my money then, right? Because that's how, because I'm a consumer. Okay, this one is apple pie fireside marshmallow cream cake. So that's the scent description. You know I'm going to get it because it has marshmallow fireside. But I'm not a big apple lover, lover. I know that's, let me rephrase. I like Mac apple scents. I don't always like the apple like pie because I just feel like it's not as authentic as when I bake apple pie. This is good, but it's very much like if you have an apple pie scent, this is very much what it smells like. Um, the marshmallow fires are, it helps a little bit like to make it a little bit distinguished, but it's a great apple pie blend. So I'm not sad about it, but it, you know, I'm glad that I only ordered a smaller amount of that. Okay. So here's what it was packaged into. So it was padded nicely and I'll go over the samples at the end because we have a whole nother box. I appreciate that she put that invoice in there because that has the scent descriptions on it. So I do appreciate this. My box is like falling apart. I'm just so thankful that they taped it well because it's literally going to fall apart here. Like literally this whole side. So because it was taped well, it looks like it's intact. All right, so let's start with another loaf here. Yeah, I got a lot of loaves. I have a problem. <gasps> Cozy Mittens Eggnog Sugar Cookie Mrs. Claus Cookies. Now, I don't know what Mrs. Claus Cookies is is but i'm really excited about an eggnog oh oh my gosh this is so good oh oh it's just perfect with the eggnog mm. oh yes eggnog what is cozy mittens i wonder is that like her blend oh it's pumpkin Pecan Waffles Noel. It says right here in my thing. So Cozy Mittens is PPW Noel. Oh my gosh, is this good. If you love eggnog scents or you don't like them to be too like milky, but you like the spiciness of putting nutmeg on your eggnog during the holidays. Oh my gosh, is this good. Oh, and look, at it's yellow and blue for Down Syndrome. I mean, not that she did that, but it's yellow and blue. Look at the cool embellishment on there. What's that called when they do that? I forget. Oh, my God. Yep, that's good. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I would definitely, like I said, if it warms as well as it is on cold, those are, those are great. Great, great, great. Okay, Halloween Town. Okay, what's this one? And it's got kind of a, okay, it's got a little scary things on it. It's blackberry jam, butter cookies, blueberry pumpkin patch, BBW, fireside marshmallow cream cake. Okay, to be fair, I don't love marsh or blueberry scents. So if I don't love this, just I'm forewarning you, I don't like blueberries, okay? But I was hoping with the other notes that hopefully it's not too much. And I know people really, really loved this. So I, I, I went out on a limb. Oh, you definitely get, oh, look at this loaf. Oh my gosh, is that cool. I don't generally like him, but it's a bat, another bat. Okay, they're very squishy. It was very warm this week. And I don't care, it's gonna melt. Okay, so I definitely get the um, blackberry jam butter cookies and the butter is yummy. Oh my gosh, is that yummy? And the pumpkin, the blueberry pumpkin, I'm okay with that. Oh, this is good. I know people were raving about this and this is why I added it because People are really going crazy over this. This is great. Okay. Again, to be fair, this is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about Halloween samplers. Like, and this is even, this is a fall pre-sale. This is what I'm talking about when you want fall scents. You want to be like, knock your socks off, lift your skirt off. I don't know whatever you want to say. That's great. I'm losing room here. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, this is... Marsala Chai Frosted Pum Cake. I can't talk today. My brain is just done. Marsala Chai Frosted Pumpkin Cupcake. 
I'm gonna go pick apples. I have my, again, this is a lot of my shirts. This is another one that my friend's boutique in LA, she owns a boutique. I just ordered some new clothes today. But this is a, like, it matches my leggings and I'm gonna go pick apples. It's, I have capris on, but I'm gonna go pick apples. Oh my gosh, this smells good. Oh, what the heck is in this again? Chai, ooh, that's what I smell. Pumpkin cupcake. Oh, gosh, is that good. Oh, that is yummy. I could just literally lick this or drink it out or chew it. I don't even know what to say. I'm so hungry. Four more weeks of my diet, right? We, this is week five on Friday. Six, seven, eight, three more weeks after this week. And my weight is not moving anymore. It's like sitting at the same thing. I, I could just cry for eating 800 to 1,000 calories a day. I could cry that it's not dropping off of me. Welcome to being 40. Back to wax. Oh my gosh, if you like chai and pumpkin, this is so good. I don't like Sensi's pumpkin chai at all. I don't know why, but this, Marsa what's Marsala chai? But this is fabulous. Oh my gosh, and you get a little bit of that cupcake, cupcake spice. It's not like cinnamon spice, it's like, is it maybe whatever Marsala is, like maybe a little bit of nutmeg, cloves is in this. Oh, good. I'm just gonna set it there now because I'm running out of room, okay? But that is fabulous. All right, sorry, I lost you, okay. So strawberry pound cake, vanilla dream cake. Oh, this is yummy. Definitely, again, why did I order so many strawberry pound cakes? This is really good, strawberry pound cake. And oh, the vanilla in this is really good. Oh, that's yummy. You get definitely get the vanilla cake in this. Gosh, I, it's a lot of, Sorry if I didn't show you. I got a lot of strawberry pound cakes, so I just really need to go through and pick which one I'm gonna keep because I don't need to keep all these strawberry pound cakes. Like I said, if somebody else would enjoy it, that would be better than me hoarding all of these because it, I mean, I'm never gonna get through all this in a reasonable amount of time. Okay, the next one is Autumn Soiree. Where are we at here? Oh, I'm gonna drop that. I don't wanna drop that. Autumn, autumn, is that it right there? Oh, okay, it's hay, vanilla birch, oak, sandalwood, southern vanilla. It had hay in it, so I had to get it. Oh, wow, this is interesting. What the heck is in this? Hay, vanilla birch, oak, sandalwood, southern vanilla. It's definitely like hay with tree notes and some sweetness from vanilla. Very unique. Oh, that is good. Oh my gosh. Very, very good. You get hay and you get the nutty or the oakness. Oh, it's like walking out in between in my in the woods and then you step on like or you've had some grass and it's sitting there it's more of that hay, like thick grass. I don't know. I guess that's what I call my grass because it looks like hay. Oh my gosh, is that, if you like hay and like trees, autumn spore weight is yummy. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put these behind me anymore, so I'm just gonna leave them in the box here. Next one is ice cream candy. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot what I ordered. Ice cream, super rich cream cake, cotton candy, vanilla frosting, pink sugar, sugar cookies. Cotton candy, I love cotton candy. Here is the, look at how cute that is. My lighting looks weird, but I'm hoping it's not weird for you guys. Oh my. I don't get a lot of cotton candy. I definitely get a lot of vanilla in this. Um, it's really kind of soft and I don't want to keep putting my hands on it. You get the ice cream. I definitely get the vanilla frosting. You can get that soup. I see what they mean about super rich cake. And uh, the cotton candy is... Mm, it's not as strong as I would like, so maybe it'll cure a little bit stronger. We'll see, but it's good. It's just not, I was hoping for a little bit more cotton candy, but it's good. But, you know, again, when you, ex again, it smells good. It's just not what I was expecting in my brain, like for what it was going to be. But it's not to say that it's bad. It's just, I don't like, it's not what I thought it was, okay? This is buttery toast and jam, pumpkin, pecan, waffles, cider lane, marshmallow, fireside, cream cake. My other one that I have was 
buttery toast and jam like strawberry that's the one i have had for like a couple months and i've been using it and it is it has good control oh this is yummy oh my gosh you definitely get the buttery toast and then it's like you took that buttery toast and smashed some pe pumpkin pecan or pumpkin on it oh and you get the uh, is there cider lane did i say in this oh my gosh is this good yeah there is cider lane in this Oh, this one, I can see why people love this. Oh my gosh, should I wax on my nose or my mouth? I could eat this. And it has marshmallow fireside. And actually, the fireside part is not as strong as I would have thought, but I'm very thankful that I get more of the, the buttery toast and jam. Gosh, is that, that one, I'm, that I'm very, very excited about. Oh my gosh, is that good? That is so good. Okay, my last loaf. It is Little Witches. Little Witches is, I know this is on the sheet, candy corn, cake, pops, sugar cookie, sugar corn pudding. Okay, it had candy corn in it. So I had to get it because like that screams fall to me. I can't get it open. <laughs> and it's got a witch's hat and a pumpkin. Oh, this is yummy. And there's a little bit, is it mica? So it's a little bit shimmery on there. Okay, so I've ordered a lot of candy corn blends and this is, candy corn I think, I was thinking it was gonna be stronger but it's a little bit more mellow than I generally thought in my head of course again. But it's so yummy when you smell it. Oh. It's definitely obviously stronger on the bottom of the loaf. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty that is. It's very good. I, I hope that cures a little bit stronger on that candy corn, but it's very yummy. It's, it just reminds me more of a, a cornbread kind of smell. I don't know. That's just me. That's just me and my nose. Okay, the next one is Pretty Girls Wear Pearls. So it's a rose. So the next four are roses. I don't know if there's a scent description for this one. Oh, satin sheets. Remember how I said sandalwood? It is. It's dark, sweet, romantic sandalwood. I knew there was sandalwood in that. That's why I got it. Okay, back to regular programming. Pretty Girls Wore Pearls. Cashmere Glow, Pink Sugar, Vanilla Lace, Boardwalk, Marshmallow Clouds. I think I just don't like Vanilla Lace because to me that's what I get. My husband's looking for apples. I don't know what he's doing over here. That's very good. That is yummy. I'm glad I didn't order a big amount. That one's okay. I think I just don't like vanilla lace is what I'm coming to the conclusion. The next one is bubble bath. This is a fresh and floral mix of water lily, freesia, violet musk, and sandalwood. All right, this isn't generally, is that really what the notes are for this bubble bath? Okay, I generally am not a floral person, so you can see why I ordered a smaller amount. This is very soft. Oh my gosh, is this good? Wow. Definitely reminds me of a bubble bath. Mm. I will warm this in my bathroom and I will enjoy a small amount of this. So this is definitely a good bathroom one for me. It's like a fancy lady bathroom scent. Oh, and I did get a small one of satin sheets because, so for some reason it didn't load in loaves. So when I, or I had to go in twice because I got my one order and then satin sheets wasn't loading. So then I tagged her like, where is the loaf in this? Cause I really wanted it. So I got this instead hoping like I wasn't gonna like was there an error or like should I just get the rose and at least try it so very good I'm I'm very happy about this one satin sheets again I did find that it's dark sweet romantic sandalwood love that uh moonflower this one is palo santo blended with our moonflower blend smoky sweet palo santo is said to be calm and relax or said to calm and relax we blend it with our sweetest floral with sensual vanilla to make this scent so mystical, very relaxing and somewhat sensual as well. A must try. Oh, this is very good. Definitely, you can smell like that little bit of floral in this. Um, it's not bad. Uh, yeah, it's mm, it's okay. How about that? Okay, let's do my samples quick, and then I'll go over my little impression. This one is cake pops, candy, and cream. This is yummy. This smells like cake pops. Mmm, that is very good. Look at the sample size. Like, that's great. That's a good size. 
Okay, the next one is buttery toast and jam, pumpkin pecan waffle, cider lane, firehouse cream. That's the one I already have, which is fine. Look at how cute this is of the little bodice. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. So she has obviously is more of a vintage. This is phenomenal scent. Oh my gosh. This one is apple pie fireside marshmallow cream cake. I already got this one. And if I de-stash any, I'm gonna use these because those three were, sorry, I got interrupted again. The last one is vanilla romance. Did I get this one? That one's okay, it's, yeah, it's okay. It's a little floral, I think. Okay, so that's what I had. Um, my alarm's going off because I have an inter a phone interview to do today, so I'm gonna get off and do that. Thankfully, I don't have they don't have to see me because it's a phone interview, but anyway, I hope that was helpful just knowing that I'm not trying to be hurtful or hateful to any vendor. I just, again, that's why I generally open things in front of the camera so you can see my honest opinion and um, that is really what it is. Again, everything I ordered today was a mystery. I didn't know what I was gonna get. And do I love every scent? No, but I do like a ton of them. So I think that's kind of, you know, that's my point. This is my opinion and it's to be helpful to you, hopefully. And again, some people have scent preferences that are like me and then some people are the opposite. So if I love something, you're like, oh, and you're a fresh person, you're like, oh, I'm staying away from that. And yeah, a lot of this is bakery because that's my wheelhouse. So if you watch this and you're not generally a bakery lover, well, thank you so much for then watching and spending time with me because generally if you're not a bakery lover, then you're just watching this because you enjoy hanging out with me and I appreciate that. Um, but always, I just want to say thank you as well for watching my videos, liking, commenting, subscribing. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been part of the channel from the beginning, I appreciate you. I love the comments and the feedback and I can always handle nice kind um criticism and i can always learn from things so i'm not above that i just want to reiterate just remember that when you use a keyboard use it kindly um and um i try to think about that when i'm trying to type something when i'm mad i i always try to resubmit something because I'm like, oh, if I'm sending an email, you know, I'll, I'm just like, okay, then go back and look at the email before you send. Like sometimes I'll have my husband read something I'm sending off just to say like he can tone me down a little bit. So I'm not above being an unkind person. I just want to be fair that these scream fall to me and that's, I'm happy. If, if, if they didn't scream what I was expecting, I, I would be disappointed, of course. Um, so I just want to say that I always appreciate feedback. I'm not above that. I just want to say that I truly do this with a intention of helping you. If you buy something or don't buy something, um, hopefully it helps. If I'm not saying don't buy from a vendor. I'm just giving my honest opinion. So with that being said, it is like 75 in Wisconsin. It is beautiful out. I spent all day inside work. It was a stressful day again. And I, again, I, I I say that with a grain of salt that I'm a school nurse. I'm not out there dealing with a lot of things that nurses in the hospital are dealing with, but I will say that I'm very proud of the work I do and I work really hard with some high risk kids and I thoroughly enjoy impacting their day and hope, and believe me, they impact my day so much more than you could ever imagine. And I truly am so honored to be working alongside of them for this contract. And um, if you don't know, I'm filling in for someone and um, I'm doing a three month contract as a school nurse. So it truly blesses me to be there and to be a part of their, you know, the three months with them and hopefully help them along the way. So with that being said, I'm gonna go enjoy some time outside um, before my interview. And then after that, I'm gonna sit outside again. So do the same if you need to because sometimes being outside helps our mental health and I just need to say that just be mindful and be aware and take that time if you need it for yourself and just remember always be kind. Have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day.